All right, I think that's everyone. If I see anyone else hop on, I'll just let them in quickly. Happy Monday, ready for another big workout. Uh, so to get started for our warm up, we're gonna lunge forward all the way down to the ground. And then we're gonna open up like that, get a good twist through the spine. Step back and then lunge forward with that other leg all the way down and open right up. It's gonna help warm up your legs. And help warm up your back. Get some rotation going through there. Awesome. So remember, if your left foot is forward, you're reaching with that left arm. And vice versa for the right. Right leg forward, right arm twisting. Good stuff. One more. And done. Now we're going to do a sumo squat, nice and wide, just like that, and then step gather and bring it back up. Keep those hips wide, legs wide, trying to open up your hips here. Awesome. Good, you should feel those legs warming up. And done. Now we're going to do butt kicks, so you can do this as a walk if you want, or you can pick it up into a jog. Stay light on your feet. Try to make sure that heel is going right up into your bum. Good job, everyone. And now we have high knees. So again, you can do that as a march or you can pick it up into a jog. Just keep those knees in front of you nice and hot. Nice. And now jumping jacks. Another reminder to keep it low impact. Stay light on your feet. You should feel that heart rate starting to climb. Awesome. And arm circles. Nice and easy and slowly making those circles larger. Good, you should feel that chest opening up, shoulders warming up, and switch directions. Awesome, here we go, three, two, one, and done. Awesome, get some water if you need it. Okay, so first circuit we have is a little bit of core and uh, legs. Yeah, sorry. Um, so first exercise you're gonna do is a side one. So you're gonna get right out and you wanna start the motion through the hips sitting right back. From the side view, it looks like this. Notice I'm getting the hips right back. What we wanna avoid is stepping and moving forward as you go down, okay? So get those hips right back. I'm gonna start with my left leg. You want to transfer all that weight onto the left side, okay? So it shouldn't be a step to the side, but then falling in the middle. We want to fall onto that left side, okay? 12 reps, and then uh, we'll switch sides. Here we go. Three, two, one, down and up, down and up. Good. This is a really great way to make, uh, to challenge your single leg. It also gets you moving laterally, which we don't do often. So great exercise, a bit awkward though. Awesome. Three more. Good. And done. Switch sides now. Three, two, one, and go. Transferring all that weight over. 
and getting those hips down and back. And just getting as low as you can without pain or discomfort. Awesome, we're cruising. Remember, you can modify the depth if you need to. So if it's bugging you or your knees or hips, don't feel like you have to go down all the way. We have one more. And done. Awesome. Now we have a sumo squat. So nice wide stance here. Toes pointing up towards the uh, front corners of your room and sitting as deep as we can. Three, two, one, down and up, down and up. Good. Now with that lighter stance, that's gonna target a little more on the inside of your legs. We're going up to 15 reps here. That's seven and that's eight halfway. Keep your movement controlled. 11, 12, three more. 14 and done. Awesome. Now we're down to the mat. We're going to do push ups here. So, like always, I'll show you your two options. Option one is from your knees like this flat back, all the way down, all the way up, all the way down, all the way up. Option two from your toes, just like this down and up. Every time you push, you want to think of pushing the earth away from you. And you also want to breathe out as you push, okay? So it's a big explosion on the way up. Here we go, 12 reps. Three, two, one, down and up, down and up. There's three, four, five. Good work, everybody. There's eight. 10 and 12. Awesome. Now we're going to do a front plank with a hip twist. Okay. So elbows are going to be stacked under your shoulders. Option one is twisting your hips like this from your knees, pivoting on the knees. Option two, if you want to make that harder, pivoting on the toes, going side to side. This is going to make your plank more dynamic. And also get your obliques working as well. We're gonna do 12 twists per side. Total of 24. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. There's four, six, eight. If you started from your toes and it's getting too hard, feel free to go to your knees. 14, 10 more. 18, 20, 22, and 24. Awesome job, everybody. That's end of round one. Get some water if you need it. Keep eating a fluff from my mask. Awesome. Pace around the room if you need to. Focus on your breath. Try to bring your heart rate down. If you found round one to be easy, remember to grab some weights or props. That's going to make it more challenging. You can grab textbooks, wine bottles, cans, laundry detergent, whatever you want. Awesome, five seconds and we're gonna rock and roll. Starting with the side lunges. This time I'm gonna start with my right leg. Three, two, one, and go. Good, you feel a good little stretch through your groin. Four. Six. Eight. Good job, everybody. Getting as low as you can without pain or discomfort. There's 10. 
and 12. Awesome. Switch sides. Three, two, one, and go. There's two. Four. Transferring all that weight over to the left side. Remember, you should be getting those hips right down and back so that when you go down, you're not traveling forward. Awesome. Three more. Two. And three. Awesome. Back to the sumo squats now. Nice wide stance. Slow and controlled. Three, two, one, and go. So make sure those feet are wide. Toes are pointing slightly out. Nice sumo position. Good. That's seven. Eight. Squeeze your glutes strong every time you come up. Good, there's 12, three more, 13, 14, and 15. Awesome, down to the mat, we're gonna do our push-ups from your knees or your toes. Here we go, 12 reps, three, two, one, down and up, down and up, down and up. There's four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more. You're almost there. You can do a big push. And done. Awesome. Now we have our front plank with the hip twist from your knees or your toes. Here we go. Three, two, one, and twist. And twist. There's four. Eight, pivoting from the knees or the toes. Toes is more challenging. Awesome. There's 16, 18, 20, 22, and 24. Awesome, round two done already. Get some water. Great work, everybody. Hopefully you feel a bit warmer now. Awesome job, everybody. Gonna take 20 more seconds. Try to bring your heart rate down. Good job, everybody. So we started with the side lunges again. We've now started with the left and right. So up to you on what side you want to get started on. I'm going to start on my left, starting in five. Three, two, one, and go. Step and lunge. Step and lunge. Good. Make sure you're transferring all that weight over to the working side. There's four. Get those hips down and back. Awesome. Remember you can modify the depth of your lunge if you need to. If your knees or hips are bugging you, don't feel like you have to go all the way down. Nice work, everybody. There's 10. 11 and 12. Great job. Now switch sides. Here we go. Three, two, one, step and lunge. Good. 12 reps here. Getting those hips down and back as far as you can. There's four. Six. Nice work, team. We're rolling here. There's eight. Making sure you're transferring all the weight over to that working side. 
Good job. There's 11 and 12. Awesome. Sumo squat. Nice wide stance. Toes pointing out. Here we go. Three, two, one. There we go. So last exercise helps work the outside of your legs. This guy is working the inside of your leg. Get a good little balance. Good job, everybody. Keep the movement controlled. There's eight, we're halfway. 10, get those hips down and back, squeezing the glutes. There's 13, 14, and 15. Awesome. Down to the mat. Now we have our push-ups. Here we go. Three, two, one. Down and up. Down and up. Keep that tempo. There's three, four, six. Eight, breathing every time you push up. 10, 11, and 12. Awesome job, everyone. Now we have our front plank with our hip twist from your knees or your toes. 12 for a side. Three, two, one. Twist and twist, twist and twist. There's five, six. Eight, 10, halfway team, keep going, you can do it. 16, strong core, keep breathing. 20, 22, and 24. Woo! Great job, everybody. Circuit one, donezo. On to circuit two. So this circuit is again, legs and core. We'll be starting with reverse lunges. Remember, if you have weights and you want to add them in for these lunges, you can do that now. Now, I'll quickly, while you guys finish up resting, I'll explain the next one. So reverse lunge, really simple. You're just going to step back and switch. Step back and switch. Alternating legs, okay? Now, remember with the lunge, the lower we go, the harder it is. So if your knees or hips are bugging you, don't feel like you have to go all the way down. If you do want to make it harder, get that full range of motion in. And remember, you can add weights or props if you want to. When you're doing a lunge, we want minimal weight on the back leg. So the front leg should be doing most of the work, okay? Think of pushing the earth away with your front foot. We got five seconds. Grab your last swig of water. Here we go. Three, two, one. Reverse lunge and switch. Good. Stepping back, alternating legs. There's six. We're doing 12 per side, so going up to 24. Good job, everybody. Halfway. There's 16, 18, nice. We're doing great, everyone. 21, 22, 23, last one, and 24. Awesome, next exercise, you're gonna grab a slice of wall for a wall sit. So remember, just anywhere you can keep your back flat, you're gonna sit into it with a nice flat back. The lower you sit, the harder it is. If you don't have access to a wall anywhere, I want you to quick do air squats. Nice, quick tempo. 
but that'll help get your quads going, just like the wall set would. Here we go, three, two, one, and set. Making sure your knees are not way past your toes. Try to sit in a bit deeper if you can. If you need a quick rest, stand upright, shake it out, step back into it. Nice work, everybody, almost there. Here we go, three, two, one, and done. Awesome. Now we're down on the mat. We have bicycles, so nice core exercise for you here. So with bicycles, you're gonna be up in a semi-crunch like this. We're gonna reach elbow to opposite knee, switching sides, okay? Now remember with bicycles, you wanna keep that lower back press down to the ground the whole time, okay? So if your low back is bugging you or you can't keep it flat, kick out higher, that's gonna make it easier. 30 seconds, three, two, one, and go. So we wanna keep this movement slow and controlled. Make sure your limbs are not flailing around. Again, press your lower back into the ground and try to draw your belly button into the ground. Awesome, squeeze that core, we're almost there. Here we go, three, two, one, and done. Feet on the ground, knees bent at 90 degrees. Now we're gonna do crunches. So I'll show you two options. Option one, just crunching like this, nice and controlled, really squeezing through your core. Option two would be hands behind your head, but what we want to avoid is pulling with your arms. Okay, we want to pull through your core. Your hands would just be there to support your head if your neck or shoulders are bugging you. Okay, here we go, 15 reps. Three, two, one, squeeze, and squeeze, and squeeze. Good, keep that going. Really squeezing your core. Nice work, everybody. There's eight, we're halfway. Remember, if your hands are behind your head, you're not pulling through your hands. You're only there to support. One more, here we go, and done. Awesome. That's the end of that circuit. Grab a quick swig of water, and then we're back to the reverse lunges. Awesome, 10 more seconds, grab your last swig of water, grab your weights or props if you wanna use them. Starting out reverse lunges, here we go. Three, two, one, down and switch, down and switch. There we go, keep that tempo. There's four. Six, remember to keep minimal weight on the back leg. We want the front leg doing the work. 10, 12, 14, awesome. Good work, everybody, keep pushing. 18, 20, just four more, almost there, good job team. Two, three, and four, awesome, wall sit for 30 seconds. We're doing your air squats. Here we go, three, two, one, and sit. Remember the lower you go, the harder it is. Good job everybody. Make sure you're breathing. Awesome, we're almost there, here we go. Three, two, one, and done. Now bicycles in a semi-crunch, feet up, knees bent to 90 degrees. Here we go, three, two, one, and go. 30 seconds here. 
Keep that lower back flat. Belly button pulled down. Nice work, everybody. Good, we're almost there. Keep squeezing, brace that core, make sure you're breathing. And done. Awesome. Now we have crunches. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Three. Six. Eight. Ten. Nice work, keep pushing it. There's 12, three more. 13, 14, and done. Awesome. Okay, get some water. When you, when you rack the weight, can you just be like wider? Oh, really? Yeah, just because it's slam. Yeah, just so it's not so loud. We only have one more round. I do rock. <laughs> Can't help that. <laughs> Good, you. All right, everyone. Let's get started with the final round. Starting with reverse lunges, focusing on the front leg to do most of the work. So keep minimal weight on the back leg. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Alternating legs. There's four. Six, again, focus on that front leg doing the work. Eight. 10. Awesome team. Woo, cruising, eight more. You got this, there's 18. 20. 22. And 24. Awesome. Grab your slice of wall. Wall set 30 seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one, and set. Now remember, the lower you get, the harder this will be. If you need to stand up, shake it out. Feel free. Just make sure those knees are not going way past your toes. Nice work, everyone. 10 more seconds. Awesome, keep pushing, almost there, here we go. Three, two, one, and done. Awesome. Bicycles on the mat. Here we go, three, two, one, and go. So remember, pulling your belly button down towards the mat, so you're drawing that core in. Keep your lower back flat as well. Brace that core. Nice, everybody. 15 more seconds. Squeeze that core, keep breathing. Awesome. Here we go. Three, two, one, and done. Last set of crunches. Three, two, one, up. And down, up, and down. Keep that tempo. Make sure you're really pulling through your core. If your hands are behind your head, make sure you're not pulling up with your arms. Awesome. Good job, team. That's eight, 10. 12, home stretch, three more and we're done. Two, and done, awesome. Thank you everybody. Hope everyone has a great week, nice work today. We'll see you guys on Friday. Thanks Facebook, nice work. And thank you Zoom. Thanks, Thanks have a good day. Yeah, you too everyone, have a great day. See you on Friday. <laughs>